A script. Wow, that's pretty official. So this isn't on the script, but let's stand for a second, because I know we all have the attention of a goldfish. Uh, so let's stand up and let's shout our chant together. Three days, 50 miles, closer to a cure. One more time. Three days, 50 miles, closer to a cure. So good evening, Challenge Walk family. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Brian Rossi. I am the blessed other half of the most amazing woman I have ever met in my life. You probably all know who I'm referring to, but let's see if a couple hints give it away. Leave me alone, I don't need any help. I hate Setucket Hill, but I'm gonna kick its butt. She'd say a different word for those of you that walk it with her. How far do the Duncan stop? I gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta pee, gotta pee. Where's the beer? I'm guessing most of you have guessed by now that I am here to introduce the one and only Carolyn Rossi. <laughs> Carolyn, Carolyn has lived with MS for over 20 years of her life. One of the most amazing traits about Carolyn is how she reminds MS every day of who's boss by maintaining a genuinely positive attitude and outlook on her life due to her deep faith in God and the strength and joy she truly has in her life. She often says, I don't have MS. It's just a bug that likes to irritate me. <laughs> we'll find a cure in my lifetime and end it. Amen. I am amazed at how Carolyn has truly embraced being bugged by MS and how she raises awareness year round about the cause of finding a cure. Over the years, she has held numerous fundraising events including smaller volleyball tournaments, a spaghetti dinner, yard sales, bowling parties, and more. Every chance she gets to share with younger kids, she spends time explaining to them why she's in a wheelchair and how her legs don't work like they should. For really young kids, she even explains that her batteries just need to be changed. But she hasn't gotten any yet. She removes the stigma completely by offering to let them push her in her chair, or even offering to give them a ride in her chair. She loves to do that. She often will also tell them that she has MS and that we'll find a cure sometime soon. She has about a bazillion different MS-related shirts and sweatshirts. She wears orange sneakers. She has an orange wheelchair. She colors her hair orange, not this year, but she usually does. We even purchased recently a bright orange mailbox for our house. In addition to these things, she has also worked to spread awareness through her famous Orange Sock Day event. How many people are familiar with Orange Sock Day? And also did an Orange Slice Smiles Awareness campaign where we literally had hundreds of people posting pictures of themselves on Facebook with an orange slice in their mouth and a big smile. When I think of Carolyn during Walk Weekend every year, she inspires and encourage, <coughs> encourages many people. Whether it's a time when she needs a break and someone sticks with her for a while and they chat and form a friendship, or she talks to someone on the rail trail that isn't even part of the walk, or even collecting donations from some of those high-speed bikers on the trail. Every chance she gets, she connects with others and inspires them and helps spread the message of MS awareness. The importance of finding the cure and specifically about Challenge Walk Weekend. Most recently, she has started taking Toastmasters to become more comfortable with public speaking. She knows, would you like to give a speech, a pocket speech? <laughs> she knows that she has a very positive message to share with lots of people about having joy in the midst of difficult circumstances. If I were you, I'd be on the lookout for some type of motivational speech from her in a year or so. Woo! 
I know Carolyn is different things to different people. As her extremely proud, blessed, and honored husband, this is how I view her. And I definitely will not make it through this. <laughs> I'd like to share and personalize a brief excerpt from scripture from Proverbs 31. Carol, okay, I can't look at her, is that okay? <laughs> Carolyn, you, my dear, are a wife of noble character, and I have found you. You are worth far more than rubies. I have full confidence in you, and you lack nothing of value. You bring me good and not harm each and every day. Thank God for that one. <laughs> You set about your work vigorously, and your arms are strong for the day's tasks. You open your arms to the poor and extend your hands to the needy. You are clothed in strength and dignity, and you have an ability to laugh at the days to come. Ethan rises and calls you blessed. Sometimes. <laughs> I speak highly of and sing your praises as often as I can. Many women do noble things, but Carolyn, you surpass them all. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, friends, family, please share this love and give Carolyn a warm and joyful MS family welcome. <laughs> Thank you.